Hello and welcome to episode 106 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on all things archery, or to put it another way, shooting things. Okay, now first of all I want to thank the wonderful Wormpedia because obviously that is where I've got a great deal of the information I'm about to give you from. Um, there are obviously there has been many updates um, over the last 12 months um, well not 12 months since last October when Worm Unlimited has been released bear in mind the wiki uh, factors in more towards Worm Online having said that there's also been numerous updates to do with Worm Online so whilst I give you all this information from me from the wiki at the end of the day if uh, you think that something's suspect then leave a comment and let us know what uh, you found that has changed with the information that I'm about to give you and boy oh boy there's a lot of information I'm about to give you all right first up here is a list of relevant information on archery forgive me if I have mentioned any of this previously it's just that I felt uh, it's just that I realised that not everyone watches through all of the different episodes. Some people like to jump um, to different ones and it might be that someone hasn't watched the Fletching or the Burry episodes. Instead they just wanted to jump to the Archery episode, which is fine. So I shall give the most important information that I'd covered previously. Um, again, just quickly going over some of it. Okay, here we go. The best bows are made from willow. Arrows made from cedar, cedar are easier to improve. Arrows made from maple take less damage. Quality of the bowstring affects hit chance and the chance that it breaks. Quality of the arrow affects hit chance and the chance that it breaks. Also the damage done and accuracy. Quality of the bow affects the damage done also, the higher the quality of the bow, the higher accuracy rate it will have. Archery has a lower hit chance during the night, from 2100 to 0600 worm time. Wearing a shield can significantly increase the rate at which you block arrows. So if you're going for an afternoon stroll on the Chaos server or a PvP server, best go for that stroll with your shield equipped. Bows work best when fired at their best range. For example, if you shoot a longbow from 10 tiles, you will be missing more than if you were shooting from the 20 tile optimum range. If you try to fire closer than a bow's minimum range, you will not shoot. Okay, the minimum ranges for bows are as follows. The short bow has no minimum range, so you can shoot from one tile away. Bows, they have a minimum range of five tiles. Long bow has a minimum range of ten tiles. Optimum range for the bows, going from short bow bow to long bow, is five, ten, and 20. That's the optimum ranges for the three different bows. Now some information on enchanting regarding archery. In general anything that affects speed, accuracy or skill gain works on the bow only. Anything that affects damage works only on arrows. The following enchantments are known to work fully on bows. Blessings of the Dark, Blood First, Circle of Cunning and Nimbleness. The following enchantments are known to work on arrows. Demise Spells, Flaming Aura, Frost Band, brand, rotten touch, venom and presumably life transfer and mind stealer. Wind of Ages is believed to work to only work when practicing on an archery target so that's a bit pointless in Worm Unlimited because you'll get up really quick but in Worm Online of course it's worth using it because it's much slower to skill gain in Worm Online. 
As you progress your archery skill, new options will open up to you at the following skill levels. When you reach 30 in archery, you will gain the skill Shoot Quickly. When you reach level 35, you will gain the skill Aim at Torso. At level 40, Aim at Left Right Arm. At 50, Aim at Head. At 60, Aim at Face. Ouch. At 70, Aim at Legs. These options can be accessed via right clicking on the enemy with the bow equipped and activated and obviously with you gaining that skill. So if you want to shoot quickly, once you've gained level 30 in archery, then you must right click on the creature that you're shooting at and choose shoot quickly with your bow equipped and activated <clears throat> excuse me wow okay now here are some damage modifiers there are a number of factors which dictate roughly how much damage you'll deliver when shooting at a target height bonus shooting down at your target will increase damage shooting up will reduce it arrow quality higher quality arrows do more damage and remember increase your accuracy bow quality higher quality bows do more damage and also remember improve your um, hit chance criticals the wiki mentions they can happen please leave a comment if you do ever manage to get a critical because I'd, I'd like to hear about that but apparently they are rumored to exist bow criticals armor Reduces the amount of damage taken when the shot is successful. Enchance, blood first on the bow and it's abbreviated FA, RT, FB on the arrows boost damage. So I'll just stick with blood first on the bow, increases the damage. Creature status, champion greenish and raging has no impact on the damage dealt. If it takes 22 war arrows to kill a scorpion, then it would take the same 22 war arrows to kill a champion scorpion. Now, whilst the wiki might be jesting or joking with the amount of arrows, war arrows it will take to kill a scorpion, know this, that if you do get your skills, all your skills related to archery up to a good enough level, then how fantastic is that? that you will kill with the same amount of arrows a champion creature that it will take to kill a normal creature so that's definitely one of the reasons it's worth getting all of your related skills up nice and high okay for players armor is a choice but for animals it is a set static value and generally the tougher the animals are they have stronger hides Using bulk storage bins for arrows to even average out their uh, quality for consistent quality, you can easily see the relative defensive strengths of creatures. Unsurprisingly, crocodiles and scorpions are difficult to kill with arrows, while mountain lions, rats and wildcats are very, very easy to kill. From this we can see that there are unarmored player from this we can see that an unarmored player has roughly the same natural armor as a wild cat the damage delivered has changed over time during code club ab's combat rebalance rebalancing so it makes sense to occasionally revisit how many arrows it takes to kill a particular creature and it would be lovely if people left comments listing off how many arrows it took to kill a creature but also giving us their statistics i.e. what their archery skill was, what the bow quality level was and what the arrow quality level was and perhaps even what the type of arrows they were using. Now I will give you some information on archery that is meant more as a forewarning it is not meant to put you off of archery I would never do that with anything regarding worm or any game in fact that I enjoy playing or otherwise it is simply meant to let you know that if you persevere with archery it will get much better 
So here's the information. At lower skill levels, net damage rate from bows is tiny, minuscule compared to melee weapons. For example, with fighting skill and relevant sword skill at 10, it is easy to kill a level 1 animal. With fighting and relevant bow skill at 10, a level 1 animal has to stand still for you to shoot about 100 anim arrows to kill it. You didn't hear me incorrectly, it has to first stand still, so be comatosed or stunned, and I don't know how you'd do that. Well actually I do and I'm going to show you. But it will take then 100 arrows to kill it. Whereas if you had a melee weapon, a few chops and it's dead. So don't let that put you off. Considering that tons of arrows are needed, that arrows last only about five uses, and that each arrow takes about as much effort to prepare as in improving it, as a sword does, archery at low levels has an astronomical time investment to fighting effectiveness ratio. But what you don't realise and what you don't know is that if you do invest that extreme amount of time, now bear in mind with us playing Worm Unlimited, all right, this is cut in a cut in a quarter of the time, okay? It will not take you nearly as much time as Worm Online. In Worm Unlimited, now if you're playing Worm Online, do this little test, okay? If you happen to own a copy of Worm Unlimited, go into Worm Unlimited and practice all of these skills related to archery and gauge whether you feel it's worth doing archery. Do not be put off of archery if you're playing Worm Online. Just be aware that you'll have to sink at least 12 months into the skill. If you're playing Worm Unlimited though, a fraction of the time. Okay, but again, it's not meant to put you off, it's just meant to make you realize you need to take archery seriously. You have to want to be a ranger and dedicate much, much time in the skills involved. So there we are, that's that. Some skill gain tips. Firing on the target from outside your bow's optimum range will increase the difficulty and thus increase your skill gain at higher skill levels. So for the, uh, those of you in Worm Online, you'll do that post 20. For those of you in Worm Unlimited, you'll do that post 50. Practicing at night will similarly increase the difficulty. So if you find the skill gain slowing, you may want to practice when it's dark instead. There's an invaluable skill tip. Beyond 40 skill, the only way to gain further is by using archery on animals or in player versus player combat. Unlike fighting skill, you gain random archery skill for every shot and optimum archery skill for every successful damage dealt. Fighting skill is also gained after a successful kill. So I hope you got a stack of a thousand arrows. Using, at low skill gain that is, using other player, oh here we go now, I did want to invite Rainstorm along to be in this episode with me. Um, one, I do enjoy doing episodes with Rainstorm in them. But two, <laughs> and Rainstorm, I do apologise, I am only joking, of course. But two, of course, using other players as targets to train with is effective at any level. There is a three hour cooldown timer which begins after the ev you see the event message you will not gain skill for attacking blah 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 for a few hours. So basically if you have an alt or a friend who doesn't man mind um, standing in front of you once your archery target has either been destroyed or your one of your skills in in um, archery has reached 30 or remember the main skill archery has reached 40 so either 30 in one of your bows or 40 in archery your archery target won't be any good anymore so that's when you can ask your friend to stand next to it and carry on practicing with them instead <laughs> they'd have to be a good friend of course anyway moving on 
Skill gain is affected by sleep bonus. So if you're finding it slowing right down, remember to use some of your sleep bonus. Okay, priests of Venora and foe can use bows. So my foe priest can get some archery in and so can Venora. So Venora and foe. Shoot creatures that cannot swim from a boat, which is where we're going after we've practiced with this archery target. My goodness, information overload, I hear you say. Yes, well, let's get now to actually doing something with the bow. So first of all, I'm gonna demonstrate archery using an archery target. So in fact, why am I disembarking? The higher you are, the more success chance you have. So from my wagon, I am at the optimum range of 20 tiles from the archery target to use my longbow. So let's equip the longbow. Okay, now I'm going to use arrow shafts because if I used war arrows, it will destroy it quicker. So by using arrow shafts, one, they're easier to make, two, they will do less damage. So let's observe my damage my skill gain on archery and longbow so I have my longbow equipped I have a quiver with arrow shafts and I have my arrow shafts I've unequipped my other quiver which was here into the um, wagon because that has got my war arrows in it which I'm saving for the demonstration off of the boat anyway enough of Waffle, let's get on with the show. So I'm gonna right click the archery target and I'm not gonna load the cargo. Okay. Now let's try ranged. You will now throw items if you double click on an enemy. Okay, well, I am wielding a bow, at least I hope I am, let's just check. And it should be strung. Yeah, it is, we can see, because it says unstrung. Okay, so... Right, okay, it says I'm too far away. Is that a long bow? I'm sure I counted 20, but then don't rely on me counting. Right, let's try again. Too far away. You're too far away to do that. Now, this is not right. I should be shooting. Maybe it's because I'm up on here. It shouldn't be. But let's just try everything. Hmm. For some reason... Let's try equipping this, just in case. Oh, I'm gonna feel really silly, because uh, I know it's something uh, very silly that I'm probably not doing. Uh, let's try going to find on Wormpedia, find out why this bow is not shooting. Okay, great, that don't tell us anything about that. What about with the bow? Bow activated, ah, there we go. It's because I've not activated the bow, so I was being very stupid. So let's back up. Apologies for that, but when you record, you tend to uh, do things in, well, when I record, correction, I tend to do things incorrectly, so, Double click, activates the bow. Now, for goodness sake, let me shoot some arrows. Here we go, target practice. Okay, drawing the bow and shooting. And you can see we are gaining our skills. You'll, need, you'll notice as well that we need to click again now you can of course set up a hotkey oh, I score a measly one but at least I hit it at least I got some score and I'm getting more skill 
Okay, so let's now use the bow. So let's equip it. Let's activate it. Because looking stupid once in each episode is mandatory for me, it would appear. And I don't have to do it more than once, hopefully. So now we're going to go to 10 tiles away. I should have counted 10 tiles, but I didn't. So we know though that we can shoot from 20. So let's try from here. So right click, target practice. Ah, got a score of six. Well, that's got to be cool. Notice that my medium bow is now going up. Let's do it again. Oh, that one was measly. Right, okay, so that's the medium bow. Yes, I haven't trained up my skill, so you aren't going to see really high hit rates or high anything going on with me just yet. I'm just demonstrating the different bows with the archery target. Okay, let's get five tiles away from it. So, one, two, three, four, five. Optimum range for the short bow. Okay, let's now equip the short bow and activate it. Okay, let's shoot. And there we go, what score did we get? Okay, maybe it's because I missed totally. Let's try again. Well, let's keep firing until I see whether I get a measly hit or not. Oh, there we go. I got a score of four. We are going to expect this until these skills get to, I would hazard a guess, at least 50. It's got to be at least 50 in, in, the bow, in each of the bows. And I decided when you go hunting, you really want to take all three bows with you. And let's show you why. So first of all, let's go pick up the arrows. That you should find around your target. And yes, it looks like we got to get them. Can I open it up? Yeah, I can. And let's just grab them all. Right, okay. Let's open up the quiver. And put them back in there. Okay, so. That's something you must remember to do get your arrows back when you've been practicing now if we take a look at what damage it's taken so using arrow shafts as you can see does I mean I've hardly shot any arrows at it but it's gone up ever so slightly don't use anything but arrow shafts okay now what we're going to do I don't know how long this episode will be because I can't orchestrate having a creature standing still for me 20 tiles away, 10 tiles away and 5 tiles away. The nearest I can get to simulating that is by getting on the boat and finding a creature uh, out in the wild. I hear you shouting at me. Gamester you fool, you idiot. Why don't you just practice with your creatures? I'll tell you why, because with the creatures you've been breeding, you cannot practice archery on them. Um, Code Club made a change where you don't get skill gain from practicing on bred animals. It would have been nice to line up my um, bison here, because they're very strong creatures. And one passed away with old age. That's how well I treat my creatures, they die of old age. Anyway, so what we're going to do is, though, take a boat ride. Yep, you're free to stop the video whenever you wish. But what I'm going to do now is take a boat ride so we can find a creature on the bank somewhere, on the uh, shoreline, and take pot shots at it. And it's going to stand there, hopefully, dumbfounded. Because it's not going to realise the gamester's been really sneaky and snuck up on it. So I'm going to leave my bison so they can eat. 
hopefully there. Okay, now what I need to do is remove all of the arrow shafts and remove the um, the quiver that I've got equipped, which is just there. That can go can it go in there. Yep, yeah, cool. And we're going to grab the quiver with the war arrows and equip that. We're going to grab Okay, this leads me on to a good point. Some things to make sure of before you go hunting. Number one, have about uh, 10, 20 bowstrings with you. Okay, the lower the quality level of them, the more you're going to need to take with you. Have all three different bows. Obviously, take food and water. And let's see, anything else? No, just make sure you've got a ton of arrows. I mean, I'm only taking 41 war arrow, 30 something war arrows with me. Let's have a look. How many have I got? I'm only going to be taking about 39 arrows with me. Okay, you would take as many as you can carry. Okay, as many as you can carry and be prepared to lose them all. What can I say? You're going to lose your arrows and they only get five uses anyway, arrows. Right, so we got the bows, we got the quiver, we got the bow strings. Let's now get on the boat and see if we can find an animal that will kindly allow me to demonstrate archery on it. So let's raise the anchor. Okay, let's now set off. Ah, now there were a load of bison at the other end of my island. Whether they're still there or not, I don't know. Let's minimize that. And let's close that for now. Okay, now the great thing about using a bow is it's best using the longbow because the creature can be inland a bit so the longbow is then fantastic or if it's right on the bank either the bow or the short bow the choice is yours personally i want to get all three bow skills up so i can do some stat tests with them test which ones do what amount of damage and how regularly they hit blah 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 Okay, so up there is an ideal candidate for my bow skill. Now hopefully they've not changed it that when I stick an arrow into it, it runs off. So I'm hoping it will just stand there looking like an aged bison while I practice archery on it. Okay, now what I want to try and do is, it would be nice to get the 20 optimum range for my longbow, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. So let's try from here. Let's use more the boat so it doesn't move. Okay, let's now equip the longbow. Let's now activate it because we're not going down that route again of looking absolutely stupid. No point, you know I'm stupid already. Okay, let's now right click and attack target. What is our archery on? It's only on a Diddy 11, so I doubt we're going to hit this creature. Now, did it shoot? It should still be attacking, but I don't know if it is because I don't know if it, I'm too close. I can't be closer than 10 tiles. Okay, let's try equipping the bow. Let's activate the bow. Let's now try again. Hmm. So we can't actually see anything that's going on. So let's raise anchor and get closer. Oh, well, a repair, I suppose, was needed. Let's raise the anchor. We 
We've certainly not done anything yet because we haven't got a single bit of skill gain. Okay, so let's test with the short bow first of all, just to make sure that they've not nerfed it so you can't attack from a boat anymore. Now we know with the bow there's no minimum range, with the short bow that is. Oh, don't you go running off. So annoying. Come back, for goodness sake. What, do you sense I'm here? Do you know that I'm going to do archery target on you? Oh, that is so typical. Stands there all the time while I'm waffling, and as soon as I move in closer to see if I can hit him, he runs off into the trees, so I can't see him anymore. Great. Let's have a look to see if there's another bison. I must have the only intelligent bison in worm. Ah, here we go. Old bison. Perfect. If I can just get there before he decides to run off. Now I'm going to line up with the tiles this time. Because that might be... Oh. Okay, it's alright. Now let's start shooting at him. See if I can get an, a hit. I'm too close. Let's equip the short bow. Activate again. Okay, now what I'm going to do is moor the boat because there's loads over there and I can swap bows if they get too far away. Okay, this doesn't seem to be shooting. Okay. Let's equip my bow. Activate it and shoot. Ah, there we go. That's what I needed to do. Use the shoot down here. Of course, they've all fled down the other end of... Okay, let's raise anchor. And let's bring this window up here. Aid sheep, you're going down out of my frustration with the bison. You are going down. Right, okay, so what are we away? We're one, two, only about three tiles away. Short bow, that's what we want. Equip, activate. Aid shoot, sheep, and shoot. There you go. There you go. Cool. Wow, well, I actually get a hit and see the bit of damage. Yeah, it's a good. It's a, not bad for just starting out. For goodness sake. Yes, I managed to get my bows. Notice my, I imped all three of my bows to fifty quality level. But you can see there that poor sheep has got an arrow sticking out of it and a bit of damage done to it. So let's raise. Wait a minute, no, there's bison. So how fun is this? As you're skilling up your bow skills, you'll see more and more damage. But at the beginning, of course, you won't see hardly anything being done. Okay, let's switch to the bow. Let's activate it. Let's select the bison and shoot. Oh, he's got an arrow sticking out of him, so I've got him all right. But you see, they are high. They are tough creatures. But look at that. I even done a nice bit of damage on him. Let's stick with the sheep. So they've changed it now that the creatures move every time you hit them. Oh, he panics. I did another nice bit of damage. They have definitely sorted out the damage with the bows. Bearing in mind that my skill is nothing at the moment. They are regenerating, of course. But this is great practice. And of course, I only did a few arrows. 
But let me make up a thousand arrows and then things will be different. My skills will be going much higher. Right, time to unmoor the bow. Raise the anchor. Oh, there's an arrow sticking out the ground. Let's grab that. Oh, ow. Oh. You've certain things you have to weigh up. Like for picking this arrow up, is it worth the frustration that I'm going to suffer trying to do this? Yeah, there we go. Got it in the end. No, I didn't. I'm too far away. Oh, forget the arrows, for goodness sake. Right, let's carry on with this sheep. Because I did say that he's going down. Oh, my target's still the bison. That is not what I want. I want my target to be the sheep. Okay, I'm thinking that... Oops, forgive me. Let's turn the sound down on that. There we go. Right, I think I'm going to need to moor the boat because it doesn't seem to be firing unless I'm moored. Okay, let's try again. Might be that I've got the wrong bow equipped. We will see. Oh, I need to activate the bow. And shoot. Yeah, so I think you can't be moving. You have to moor your boat. Oh, there you go. He took a hit then, didn't he? I think you'll see archery is without question definitely definitely worth it it can be a ton of fun okay i mean look at how low my skills are and look i've nearly killed this sheep the poor sheep but i did say he's going down In fact, no, let's take pity on the sheep. But I think you realise now that that sheep would, would will be dead. So I'm not going to bother killing it because Rainstorm might want uh, more wool. So what I'm going to do is go after some bison. See if I can get one dumb enough to stand still for a while and let me take some pot shots at him. Of course, if you had a friend, that would be even handier for them just to stand there while you get your archery to 50 or 60, by which time they would have died many, many times. Oh, look, here's a whole herd of bison. Now, let's see them run. Oh, look, yeah, they know I'm coming. They heard there's a ranger in town, and he's a complete idiot, but he's going to get some damage done on them. Right, here we go. Let's get into the middle of them. Good way for herding the bison, I think. Just equip a bow and they'll all start running. Okay, let's more. Let's now pick this bison. I'm probably not going to get much. Okay, let's activate the bow. Oh, for goodness sake, by the time I've done it, I'm, he's out of range. Mind you, I can use the long bow. Let's just shoot as many times as I can. Right, okay, let's equip the longbow. I can't see him, but we can still see that, and that's good enough for me. And I'm going to be obviously still getting skill gains. Yeah, I did say many, many episodes ago how much fun this is. Now, if you're on a server and it's just you, you can go out for such... I mean, no other game really can 
make you feel like you, you go on a camping trip, you put down your tent, make a campfire, cook up some food, go off hunting with your bow in the boat, you can kill all of the, um, uh, oh, I can't even think of the names of them now, fog spiders or whatever, that nasty creatures near you, jump in a boat, as long as they don't swim, as long as you don't try practicing on a crocodile, you'll be fine, or a bear. But if you've got your archery high enough, then perhaps you can hunt out them crocodiles and bears. Yeah, I'm still getting skill gains, so I still must be hitting it. And in the worst case scenario, I'm herding it down to where my settlement is. Okay, well, I think that's long enough. I've probably been talking now for about the last hour I'm going to find, and it's going to probably take me a couple of days to upload this video. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you, and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this episode on archery. Goodbye.